Since we're editing an HDR image made from combining a range of exposures, we're able to bring down the exposure of the window quite a bit just by using the highlight slider in the basic panel. To go even further and reach that exposure that we captured on site with our darkest image, we'll use the adjustment brush. Hit K on your keyboard to open up the adjustment brush. Then double click on effect to reset all sliders to zero. Set your exposure to negative two, your feather to around 15, and the flow to 100. You can use the wheel of your mouse to adjust the size of the brush. It's helpful to zoom in closely on the area that you'll be using the brush on. You can use some tools in the top left corner of the screen to do this. There are multiple options that you can easily go back and forth between. Drag the little white square to the area that you want to look at. Left click on the mouse and start drawing over the area that you want to darken. You can hold down shift while dragging the mouse to draw perfectly straight, horizontal or vertical lines. We'll then use the erase brush to remove the areas where we went over. You can hold down shift with the erase brush as well. Have one hand on the keyboard ready to hit Ctrl Z to remove any mistakes. Once we zoom back out, any imperfections will be hard to notice. Now you can zoom out and refine the settings for your brush. Negative 2 on the exposure slider was a good place to start so we could clearly see where we were brushing. You'll typically end up wanting to be around negative 1 to negative 1.5 though. You can also increase the temperature slider to make the white balance outside look a little more accurate, as well as utilize the saturation and dehaze sliders. Toggle the little button in the bottom left hand corner on and off to see the before and after. You can hit F on the keyboard to view the image in full screen mode. Check out the description of this video to learn more about shooting and editing real estate photos.